hey guys welcome back again to my youtube channel so today's video is just a very simple one i want to make carrot stripe egg sauce like i've been making normal egg sauce for us to use and eat rice or yam for the longest time and today i just remembered like ah i've not made this carrot stripe egg sauce for a very long time so i'm sure my family will be excited to hear that that's what i actually want to do and i'm like let me whip out my camera and record this um recipe so i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a huge thumbs up at the end if you like this video leave me a comment down below and please share this video with your loved ones and if you've been watching my channel up to this point you have not subscribed to my channel clearly what's up what have i done sido what 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 are we quarreling no of course not please hit on the right subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video like this so without further blabbing without talking too much let's get right into this video like let's get cooking literally see you guys in my next one Today's recipe will be needing carrots, red and green bell pepper, fresh tomatoes and fresh pepper, onions and scent leaf. We'll also be needing some fresh eggs and seasoning cubes, curry and thyme. And also from the overview, we have onions, red and green bell pepper, fresh eggs, scent leaf, tomatoes and pepper, carrots, seasoning cube and curry and time so that's all we have on this table and that's all we'll be needing for this recipe i'll be heating my pan and be adding my vegetable oil when i add my vegetable oil i'll allow it to heat up and then i'll add my onions into the vegetable oil after adding my onions the next thing i'll be adding to these onions will be my fresh tomatoes and pepper i'll be adding them and stirring it properly to mix it up together very well and while leaving i'll i'll stir it keeps sorry i'll keep stirring it and allowing it for it to actually dry up and after it's been dry i'll put my carrot into it and then after putting the carrot i'll be adding my seasoning my thyme my curry and then i'll be adding my seasoning cube and also this is the time that my salt will also be going in so basically i'm just adding all the seasoning and then after adding all the seasoning that salt in there i will be stirring it properly to make sure everything goes round the seasoning goes round and then i'll be leaving it for it to heat up and for the carrots to be a little bit soft i always like my carrots my vegetables to be a little bit crunchy not so soft the next thing i'll be adding is my red and my green bell pepper and then after adding them i'll be mixing them properly together trying to make sure that the the whole pepper goes to every corner of the pot and then i'll be allowing it to sim simmer for like two minutes max so that the vegetables will not be so soft you understand so that i'll still have that crunchy taste and even while allowing it for it to to simmer i am also stirring it from time to time so that it won't be burnt and then the next thing i'll be last thing i'll be adding or the second to the last thing i'll be adding will be my egg i'll just be pouring it around the pan on top of the sauce making sure it goes round nowhere is left out after pouring my eggs into the pan or on top of the sauce i'll be allowing it for like one minute or two minutes and then i'll be coming back to stir it so that it won't be born on that i won't have that any bonds you understand i'll be stirring it and then after stirring it and checking it out making sure that everything is just perfect the way i want it i will then now be adding the last thing which is the scent leaf that's what i'll be adding after stirring this thing very well So after that, I'll be adding my scent leaf. So here comes the scent leaf. We'll be adding it, stirring it, and immediately I add my scent leaf, not up to 15 seconds. While stirring it, I'll be putting off my gas so that the heat from the sauce will actually heat the vegetable and not me cooking it on the fire. Ta-da! Our vegetable sauce is ready. 
can't you see how beautiful it looks this can go with rice yam whichever one you want to use it with but i'm taking mine today with white rice so thank you so very much guys for watching please hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys